You can say whatever you want while I'm talking to my camera because they can't hear you. Ah! Hey turtle nerds, welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, I'm in two cameras and also here with a very special guest and that is the turtle girl. She's over here in the corner. I don't know how to click it to make it bigger. And uh, today we're going to be reacting to some aquariums, tanks, ponds that you guys sent in that are home to your turtles. And so thank you to the turtle girl for joining me. I am very excited. Uh, if you guys don't know her channel, why? Go there. Go do exactly. Go, go check out her stuff. She has like similar stuff, informative, <laughs> really, really, really good information, and has axolotls, which I don't, and they're cute yes. as buttons. Would you, do you have words that you would like to speak to the people, the party people at home? I am so excited to just take a look at these tanks, see what you all have. I, Dan's subscribers are just amazing, so make sure you do him a favor, hit that like button, but let's take a look. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so this first tank, we have a little bit of information. It's a quick little video. This is a 40 gallon setup for two Cumberland sliders named Mochi and Pocky. I love the food names. I'm partial to the food names. Yes. Water heater, wave maker, filter, two in one heating and UVB, which I always prefer. It's easier just all in one rather than two bulbs. I love that. That's something that most people don't think about, but I know that you know, cause you keep your turtles in aquariums, right? They are reactive to yes. their environment. Definitely. And when you have like glass walls on your tank or whatever, the turtle can sometimes be more exposed, particularly depending on your decoration situation. So it's cool that you kind of have them protected so that they can get out of your line of sight. And honestly, I find that that can make them less shy and they're more comfortable with coming out because they feel like they have a safe and secure environment. So I think that's cool. Exactly. And that's what I always try to preach is like your turtles at best, they tolerate and especially the less friendly species, sliders can be very skittish. So the fact that there's that cardboard there to like let them kind of do their own thing, I really like. And I think that this used to be their aquarium and now they're in this stock tank in this little pond. It looks good oh, to me. I just gotta say, I also would like to mention that I mm -hmm. love the names. My axolotl's name is Mochi. So quality choices for the names there. I know Dan also has a bunch of food names, so I absolutely love that. And then looking at your stock tank here, all of this like driftwood and rocks and decorations from above. I can just tell that the turtles have a lot of things to rest on, to climb on, and that's really great. And also the fact that your turtles have the space to grow into this because these are sliders, right, you said? Yep, yep. So with that larger stock tank, they'll have plenty of space to grow up in there, have so much space to swim, they'll just love it. Some information about this next one. Hi Dan, my mom's pond is roughly 3,000 gallons. It is cement and has a skimmer, UV filter, the works. Uh, there's a bridge and two waterfalls right now. She has about eight koi who have a ton of babies every spring. A ton of baby koi. This is from Bria or Brie. Bria always is super nice to me, always commenting nice stuff. So I appreciate you. First impressions, this pond kicks butt. I love the sheer. Oh, yeah. I love the way that the water comes down. Uh, I know you do more like aquarium okay. stuff, but <laughs> I want to hear your thoughts on like as far as from a non-pond-esque person, what you think. Right, so like Dan said, I am not, I don't have that much, well, let's put this like, let's just be honest here. I have like zero experience with ponds, but from what I can see, it's incredibly spacious. You can kind of just see the shadows of the koi under there. And then you have these two gorgeous water features. I know one of my favorite things, so people always ask me like, how do you sleep in your room with the filter going? I actually love kind of just that white noise of water moving. And so you have these water features outside, which are just so beautiful. You've got all these plants around it and then also the stonework kind of around you have like a little lip going over i think that's really cool so those would be my impressions also the dog cute dog i love dogs i love the um the fact that if you were to consider this for a turtle pond that filtration kicks mm. butt uh the the pea soup sort of like color of the water does not necessarily mean that the water quality is not right. good like that's a very important distinguishment, di differentiate, I don't distinction. know. I, distinction, that was the word, I can't speak English. It's my eighth language. Clear water does not mean healthy water. So I'm a big fan of this. I've had some of my healthiest animals in water just like that. And I think that if you were to keep this for turtles, it looks like there's a wall that goes around everywhere. I think yeah. that the lip would keep them in. They would just need a spot mm -hmm. to sun. But otherwise, if you were to want to keep this for turtles, Make sure they can't get in that skimmer and otherwise that yeah. is a 
That is a good looking pond. And the fact that you have a bridge going over it. Like, that's a flex on us. I don't have a bridge. Some footage and videos. Enjoy. Thank you for putting, putting turtle information so easy for us on YouTube and learning from you. Appreciate what you do. Helps all of us turtle enthusiasts. Thank you to Jose R. I appreciate you and I appreciate, oh, I appreciate this very much and I will say why yeah. immediately because I'm excited. Number one, you have a terrapin. I'm partial to the Terps. Number two. You think so? You think so? I, you think Dan? Leave a comment. Leave a comment if you think Dan is partial to terrapins. I'm not sure. I might need some convincing, maybe. I don't know. Studies show 100%, a little bit. I love the hyacinth. I see some live, um, what do you call it? Lily pads there. Internal temperature's too high. Later, camera. Um, what was I gonna say? The live plants, I love that. The water hyacinth, a lot of people really find that useful in absorbing nitrates, also providing cover, a little bit of shade when it's warm. You have a nice little fountain in the middle, which I'm sure has a little filter box on the bottom. It looks like there's some uneaten food. That's, I mean, not a big deal. The plants should absorb that and whatnot, unless you just fish it out. Oh, that is such a good idea, how you have the strings to keep that basking dock yes. there with the log. I'm not very much a pond person, but just the fact that you have so much plants and so much growth in here is great because those plants provide a dual purpose of hiding spots and coverage for the turtle. And then also, like we talked about, it also helps take out some of those nutrients in the water. So mm -hmm. plants, I'm all for live plants and they just look beautiful and healthy here. Your turtle is gorgeous, so. I, I agree. And, and to me, there's nothing more beautiful than seeing the, the pure white of the terrapin against like the beautiful mm. lush green of the plants. This is the basic epitome of what I try to convince people to do with their animals because this setup would work for terrapin slider map turtle cooters mm -hmm. uh well cooters might eat all of your plants and so might the sliders <laughs> but just this is a really really good setup for a large yes. number of species that's a 300 gallon rubber made stock tank i can Ooh. tell because i love them excellent job jose this is shelby oh, yeah. uh a main painted turtle Maine doesn't have their own subspecies i think it's just an eastern painted turtle uh mm, rescued yeah, him a, a year and a half ago after being left behind in a small tank with mucky water i love when people do that i've researched many hours on how to care for a turtle and found my youtube um what a great help also with the vet's help and a friend in the fish store shelby is a very healthy and as the vet said what a personality shelby loves to go outside and explore the world outside with supervision. I love that because people keep losing yes. their animals. I mean, he lives in a 75 gallon tank and the grandkids love him. Thanks again for your YouTubes. Uh. They are a great help and very enjoyable. From Gary, Jerry, probably Jerry. Thank you, Jerry. I appreciate that. That's so Thank sweet. You. I'm glad that you just, I love when people are just tasked with, okay, it's either step up and take care of this animal or, you know, find it a new home. And you mm -hmm. just went for it. I love it. You said you go Absolutely. to the fish store. If you have a friend at the vet, that, is fantastic and this is a lovely yep. tank. I mean, I love it. Yes, getting them the care that they need, we love to see it. I like the above tank basking area. I love the little shallow spot. Yes, it, it's just so useful for maximizing the mm -hmm. amount of space that you have in the tank. I love the the use of the, the bottom part where you know they can rest on it and just stick their heads out. I guarantee mm -hmm. you that little Shelby there sleeps on that every night, guaranteed. Oh, yeah. I love the the carpet of the fake plants. That way you don't yes. have to bother with the live ones. Uh, I love the background. You've got plenty of filters there. It looks like you've got two of them. You got a yep. little of this, which might be left over from a DIY project or there to stop Shelby from climbing out, which okay. <laughs> great idea. Oh, and especially too, with kind of the decorations on the left-hand side, you can see it's planted a little bit denser. So if the turtle wants to like dive into those and hide over there, that's just a place where they can hang out, not be seen. Also the red rocks on the bottom, I haven't really seen too many like that. So it, it almost kind of reminds me of like, you know, like the Utah desert and they have like that red stone. Super duper cool kind of creates an area for the turtle to hang out double filters like dan said ah we there is no such thing as over filtration so having that dual filtration for this tank is just always a great thing to do for sure and the lights yep. it's just it's well lit well done speaking of the lights too you even have this submergible led in there which is which is kind of like a different way to light your tank but sometimes like people struggle with that like i don't know if you can kind of see on mine i kind of have to rest it diagonally because the basking area you can't stretch it 
all the way across. So this is just another creative way to illuminate the tank. So I, I, I agree because I'm having lighting issues right now about to change some mm. things up. It is difficult to light your tank. And I think it is important for the turtle to have those mm -hmm. day and night cycles. So something that Absolutely. people might overlook not jerry okay so that was jerry or gary now we have an actual gary dan here's a short video of my spotted turtle enclosure oh, i love spotted turtles three of them in the enclosure using a polar aurora canister pump a tetra pond uv clarifier high door inline water heater that is pimped out uh because you're in southern california keep the temperature at a minimum of 70 that's a very good idea and a temperature cutoff switch that will prevent the heater from malfunctioning and overheating which Ooh. is uncommon but it's still a problem i've heard Safety plenty precautions. of times that's good. during the summer i use a bamboo cover to partially shade the enclosure so it doesn't under overheat from gary mm -hmm. s in california that California. that is a really nice. just you've got it figured out you've got the precautions mm -hmm. taken care of You've got the attack dog right in the corner, <laughs> jumping. Right there. <laughs> you've Wants got, to be in the video. I, I love that. That's so cute. You've just, you've yes. taken the necessary precautions. You've got it predator proofed with spotted turtles. Mm -hmm. Once you get them outside, you get the live plants in there. You've got a filter. I would argue sometimes you don't even need one. You've got the land mm. area for them. This looks like a little yes. waterland tub. You've got plenty of rocks there because they do like their land a little bit. It's mm. just giving them the yeah. options. I'm a big fan of this. This is a perfect little spotted turtle enclosure. There's little like steps for the turtle to come to the surface, take a breath, sit on the shallow little spot i love it all of the plants in here as well just seeing that much green dan can probably attest to this but spotted turtles can be a little shyer yes they like lots of spaces to kind of just hide and like stay in the roots hiding at the bottom and hanging out so that they feel nice and secure um so that is super duper cool with all these plants and even the land area, you have some plants up there as well, which is super duper neat. I agree. They, so spotted turtles, like you think about where they come from, these shallow vernal pools, spotted turtles mm -hmm. are a species that are very at risk of drowning. So the fact that you have so many things to allow them to get to the surface is fantastic. Not only that, but in the last couple seconds, I see some little fish swimming around which my spotted oh, turtle yeah. loves to chase the fish. They love to. So they are very highly omnivorous. They like their plant material. They like their fruits, their veggies, but they like their fish and worms. This is an ideal oh, little habitat. This is my 100 gallon stock tank with a common musk, a diamondback terrapin, and a southern painted turtle. It is running on a Penplax 1000 canister filter from Dane. Dane, I think recently Dane. got a turtle from me too. So I'm happy to see that you've got a nice enclosure for when it gets larger. This is planning ahead is what I like to call. Mm -hmm. So right Definitely. now you've got it halfway filled because it sounds mm -hmm. like the turtles are small for now. Uh, and with that being said, Diamondback Terrapin and Southern Painted, they're good swimmers. A common musk yep. turtle, not so much. So when you do fill it up, mm -hmm. you might want to throw in a log or a piece of driftwood for it to get to the surface, just mitigating risks. But you got mm -hmm. the basking area, you got the canister filter running, and I like that it's splashing to oxygenate the water for the mm -hmm. one fish that you have in here. I don't know what <laughs> kind it is, but I see it there. I agree with everything Dan said. Just thinking ahead and the fact that you will be able to increase the water level in here definitely has a lot of potential and like you said for your musk turtle just put some driftwood in there and you'll be golden i have no information other than this is from quinn so looks like a map turtle this is a map oh okay this is okay another uh tank with tiger barbs i'm seeing a lot yep. here We've got the different substrate textures. We've got the rocks for the turtle to go and hide in and search around with. We've got the driftwood. We've got our temperature at 81 degrees, it looks like right there. Little bubbler for a fairly small map turtle, but we know they're mm -hmm. good swimmers. Clearly she, he, too small to tell, is having no issues getting to the top above mm -hmm. tank basking area. Definitely, I agree with everything you said and just also wanna add with that black substrate, I'm a fan of black sand because it kind of adds some contrast to the tank. Normally you see lighter colored substrates, but I actually had um, black substrate in one of my tanks a couple years back. I have since changed it out. But you can tell with like those lighter colored rocks and stones, it just adds some cool contrast and interest when you're looking at the aquarium. Again, tiger barbs, we love tiger barbs. I will eventually get tiger barbs. Come over and subscribe to my channel if you want to see me get tiger barbs at some point in the future. I really enjoy this tank. And also the java fern in the middle. Great plant. Great turtle plant. Hi, Dan. Here's my 
draw my what? Uh, it says drive. I misspelled something. With Tilly, my Caspian Pond Turtle from Farah. This is cool because we don't see a lot of Caspian Pond Turtles, but they're semi-common as as pets. Okay, this is interesting. I see the the heat lamp right here, the bulb, and mm -hmm. then I see the UVB right down here. Where is your turtle? Okay, I see a filter. I see a heater fake plant to hide in and basking spot yep. that's basking that's the spot. essentials that water looks clear Body covered. oh that's oh, cool look at that guy that's a cool that's, that's a cool little turtle oh look at the little cute little face oh he got a little mustache <laughs> a little stash this is very interesting it looks like this is the top to mm -hmm. like a rabbit hutch or something that you use yeah i was gonna say like a small animal cage or uh -huh. something which is actually pretty smart because in some ways well maybe it kind of helps protect from any kind of escapage potentially yeah, yeah. and then it's very convenient because you can just clip your lights on there i agree and the fact that i can't see the turtle in this I, it's hard to tell how large this is it looks like it's fairly mm. small but you don't need to go crazy when they're when they're babies uh until oh there's the mm -hmm. turtle right over there oh yeah this looks like a good size little setup for that little little turtle the water's clean uh, clearly you've got your uva your uvb covered a place to dry off fully this is a good little yep. setup. Yeah, look, 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 look. Oh, look, look at right that. there. Oh, look at him. Some little rocks. This is a cute little setup. I like this. Very modern, very like good looking. I like it. It's very <laughs> interesting. Yeah, exactly. And then also I like the basking area because it's kind of just like an all-in-one piece. Your turtle can hide under there. It can also crawl up on there. And it's kind of different than some of the ones we've seen before. Like, you know, you see the one that looks like a bridge or whatever. Um, this one kind of looks different and I like it. Hey Dan, in your video about shell rot, you said to send pictures and videos of our turtle enclosures. I did do that. Uh, so this is my 125 gallon outdoor pond for my yellow belly slider named Mango. Ooh. That's all. Oh, Mango. I might have to steal that name. I like it. That is a very beautiful cooter. That is actually not a yellow belly slider. That is a cooter. They're sometimes mm -hmm. tough to differentiate between, but I love the pond. I love to see this because I am partial yes. to ponds. This looks like a fairly new setup. It looks like a couple weeks old. Usually it'll start getting that, that tinge of green. Other than that, yeah, there's your turtle sitting right there in the shallow oh, spot. Oh, check it out. You've got chicken wire, yes. so they can't really escape. And also predator-proofed as well, because you can see that it's covering. You're not going to have any birds kind of swooping in, trying to steal your turtle out of that enclosure. And then also that rock over there. I'm not sure if it's, like, there to cover something or if there would be, like, a filter over there. But it also provides a little bit of shade. So if the turtle wants to get out of the sun, there's kind of a spot there to do that. Exactly. And that those are my only two suggestions, is I like that you have a basking spot there. But my only two suggestions are right over there the odds are low but not zero that they can catty corner and like stick wedge mm -hmm. themselves and climb up i had my box turtle do that i found him thankfully uh i've had hatchlings do that hatchlings are really good at that but you know just something to be aware of you might want to just throw a rock or some something there just so that way when he gets to the top it'll just fall back in also maybe just toss some fake plants in there or live yep. ones and you'll be golden i see that little filter little bubbling out right over here other than that mm -hmm. this is a this is a fat little setup this is nice and it looks like you have plenty of space for in the future if you ever need to upgrade mm -hmm. i mean 125 gallons though you should be fine thank you to all of dan's subscribers for all of these amazing and beautiful setups oh my goodness just the variety and the turtles and everything it's just so much fun to see so dan do you have anything that you would like to add thank you all so much for watching thank you guys so much for watching this is the end of my outro now time for the end of the Turtle Girls.